All right, good morning everybody. This is Bob KK4DIV. We're gonna try a satellite contact today with the SO50 satellite. Uh, trying something different. I've got the FT8800 uh, put in this, uh, I guess you could call it a go box. Uh, I've got a 12 amp hour sealed lead acid battery in there. You can see that I got a charge controller, uh, a watt meter, um, so I can see how much battery consumption is going on and monitor the voltage and amps and all of that. Uh, but the reason I went with this because this FT8800, that's a dual watch, uh, dual uh, you can receive and send at the same time. Uh, it has got two transmitters in it, one on each side. Um, yeah, so we're gonna use that today. It's gonna be able, gonna be nice versus what I have been using. Uh, the handy talkie where I couldn't really hear myself. I think with this I should be able to, if I'm making it into the uh, uh, satellite, I should be able to hear myself on the uh, other band. So we've got that going on. And uh, we're still using the uh, tape measure Yagi that I actually built for uh, uh, fox hunting. Uh, it's not really the best antenna, I think, to use for satellites, but we're gonna give it a shot. And we've got a satellite pass coming over here in about seven o'clock, so we've got about 20 minutes left on this. So we're gonna finish getting set up and uh, get ready to uh, try to make a satellite contact or two. We got Greg in 4KGL over there as well. He's going to be uh, attempting the satellite as well. He's got the an elk antenna, log periodic. And Susie, the Basset Hound, is along for the ride as well. So that's what we got going on this uh, Sunday morning, and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, we got about two minutes until it uh, comes over the horizon. So getting the radio ready. Uh, I think I've got everything set up right. This is a trial run for this 8800. I don't know how well this is going to work. And I question the battery I have in the box. It's several years old and it charged overnight, but I'm only reading about 12.3 volts. I am uh, transmitting on low power, so uh, that will help the battery a little bit. I don't think it would last if I transmitted full power. Uh, but you shouldn't need much power to get to a satellite, so I think we're going to be okay, at least for a little while. we got a minute and a half yet to go. Well, the first few minutes you don't get it. Right. <laughs> yeah. signal there. Uh, what was your call sign again? It's Kilo 8 Yankee Sugar Echo. Kilo 8 Yankee Sugar Echo. Over. Kilo 8 Yankee Sugar Echo. Uh, I copy. 7-3. Uh, Thank you for the contact. Got one. Station, yes, 
the video to see the call sign because all that information comes so fast and I know I butchered one of them um, but hey I'm excited uh, this works better than the handheld a little bit bulkier um, but it works so I'm happy all right y'all take care 7-3 this is Bob KK4 DIV till next time yeah this is Greg in 4KGL. How are you doing, Greg? I'm doing great. With the uh, new KX2 and the uh, that's the that's my MFJ that he's trying out. Uh, it's the 1899T uh, telescoping whip. He's got it on 40 meters right now, and he's got a pretty good signal coming out of that. Yeah. And he's got a counterpoise coming off there. How long is that counterpoise? Uh, 13 feet. 13 feet. Awesome. Wow, that sounds good. Kilo Golf Lima Pedestrian Mobile. Here comes the rain. <laughs> well, all right. It doesn't like water. <laughs> it's not waterproof. Maybe we get better go hide.